Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome to the start of an LB20 The Show New York Mets franchise. And we are going for game one of the regular season against the Nationals. And just like the other previous years where I had my Mets franchise, I'll be trying to do at least two years. Um, it's been hard to follow up because there are so many games, but I will try to do my setup from last year where I played the following rotation with the next pitcher in line. So I'll explain it for the next episode. Uh, but we're going to take a look at the lineups here. Uh, we're going to have McNeil lead off, followed by Cano, Nimmo, then Alonzo, who I'm so excited to play with, uh, Michael Conforto, Wilson Ramos, J.D. Davis, and Yohannes Cespedes. Um, we'll all see how Yohannes does. I might just trade him um, and, and then put in Dominic Smith in left field. But we'll see how he plays. And uh, for the pitching with the for the pitching rotation, we do have Jacob DeGrom, Noah Syndergaard, Marcus Stroman, Steven Matz, Rick Porcello as the starting rotation. We got Paul Siebel, Justin Wilson, Joss Familia, Brad Brock, uh, Dylan Betances, Ed Edwin Diaz, and then Seth Lugo as the closer. Now, anything can change. Obviously, it depends how, how comfortable I feel with these people. But right now, I'm going to change it out as, as it is. And we will be going to... City Field for the first game of the season. All right, here we go. Wearing the 98 home jerseys. Jake DeGrom ready to try to get his third Cy Young in a row. Let's get it. That got him. That is freezing Trey Turner on a low fastball. And that is a great way to start the Mets season. Just absolutely froze him. That is a shot by Jeff McNeil. Ah, stupid tutorials. And that is out of here. Jeff McNeil opening up the season for the Mets. With a lead off Homer. Wow. Did not expect that at all. I got out of here in a hurry. Let's take a look at our replay here. Shares the throws. He got all of it. That's a base hit for Nimmo. That's the way we like it, man. That's going to be a base hit up the middle. It's going to send two. Oh, gosh. He's going to be safe, and he's going to be out. Gosh. But that is one run scored. It's going to be 2 nothing Mets at the end of the first. 3-2 to Kurt. Two outs. I got him swinging with a fastball, ending over. Ooh, look at Jacob DeGrom getting on the hit column here. Ah. Oh, boy. Really? A, a double from hitting the, uh, the bag? That's crazy. Ah, uh, that's going to be a run score for the Nationals. It's going to be 2-1. to one. That is a base hit by Trey Turner. It's an RBI single. Really, guys? Oh, come on, man. Ugh. Conforto. We could have limited that run, but now it's a tie game. 2-2 two -two with one out. That is Cespedes possibly hitting it at no. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. He's gonna be safe. And he tags up. That's my bad for the excitement. It looks like it came off the bat high enough, but this is not Cespedes of two years ago. Run two, Eric Thames. 
That guy, I don't want a curveball. It got away. A change it, brother. That is his third strikeout of the game. Ramos. That is out of here. Wilson Ramos hits the high fastball and hits it to center field for his first home run of the year. Going 427 feet. The Mets fans are excited for this season, excited for that home run. As we take a 4-2 lead. I thought that was just going to be a pop-up because I thought it just got underneath it. Then I realized it would go pretty deep out there. 1-2 to Scherzer. <laughs> I don't get it. That's another base hit for Scherzer. With, who is this? This is Adam Eaton on. That is a strikeout to Adam. That is big. Big for the ground. Ooh, that got Kendrick looking with an outside fastball. That is back to back strikeouts with two men on. Full count to Thames. Got him swinging with an outside fastball. Oh, pulls it. Yeah, push for two. And that's going to be a double for Jeff McNeil here in the sixth inning. Oh, that is a no doubter for Brandon Nimmo. That is a three run shot. And the Mets. Are up seven to two here in the sixth inning. The Mets are not playing any games against the, the World Series champions. As we take a big, big lead. Opposite field home run. Four. Brandon Nimmo. That got. Wow, they got Evan Soto with a high fastball. He doesn't believe it. Justin Wilson with his first strike out of the year. Oh, no. Justin Wilson gives up a 3 run home run to Ryan Zimmerman. That makes things 7-6. to six. Dominic Smith drives it to right field and it's out of here! Dominic Smith coming in as a pinch hitter, hitting it off Suero. And that righty lefty matchup benefits the Mets here and things are 8 to 6. And that got out of here quick. Got just hung in there. Dominic Smith showing his power. And that is a shot by Polar Bear Pete. And he continues the streak from last year. That is a three run shot. Pete Alonso breaking the game open for the Mets here in City Field. Again, leaving where he left off last year with 53 home runs. Here comes 54. The game is now 11 to 6. Both teams have been just hitting the ball and just finding the spots. Pilonzo with a towering shot. There you go. Two and two. Yes, throws. Get some swinging ball game over. And the Mets win 11 to 6. You've given up way too many hits this game, but I'll take it. Jacob the Ground gets his first win. And it was a lot of offense this game, man. A lot of home runs, a lot of hits on both sides. Jacob the Ground was pretty dollar for the most part, giving up three runs, I believe. And that home run by Zimmerman kind of 
made things interesting, but thank goodness for Polar Bear Pete. Pete Alonzo hitting the three run home run. Yeah, 14 hits for the Nationals. 15 hits by the Mets, and man, not cool, man, man, not cool. Let's see, Keith Rom with three earned runs, one walk, six strikeouts, seven hits. Nemo is a player of the game with a home run, batting three for five. Okay, so we're back. We're going to be playing the second game of Noah's season. So we're going to be moving along here. We are going to be going all the way up to this game against Washington in Washington this time. So we're going to send through. So we got. <clears throat> Up, sent down the game, and damn, we blew it. So we lost that game. Uh, Lugo did get the loss because he gave it up in the ninth inning. Wow, we uh, lost a bunch of games. Rick Costello gonna go for a shutout here, and Mets win for nothing. So to this date. Conforto is two. Wow, he's two home runs already. And we win 8 to 4 against the Phillies. And we're going to be facing the Nationals again. Uh, they're 3 and 3. Uh, again, we're going to be facing Strasbourg. Last time he didn't make the no decision because um, Sethu will gave up the save in the ninth inning. Uh, so we're going to be. Starting the game off next episode. So hope you guys enjoyed this video of my MLB 20 franchise with the New York Mets. Don't forget to click the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And hope you guys see you soon. Take it easy. And peace.